networks are fascinating and I always wanted to have the ability to be able to watch them train and see all the math that's being done and all the equations. Um, so I was always shocked that no one ever built something like that and there wasn't anything out there. Uh, so I finally got around to building it. And that's what we're going to look at today. All right, so here we are. Now the application is written in Python, but we're not going to go over any Python code today. Today we're just going to review the application. Um, so first up, I went ahead and compiled the Python source code into an executable so I can easily share it. Um, if you want the source code and are interested, let me know. I can post it on uh, my GitHub, uh, but it's a mess. I wrote this very, very quickly. First, let's talk about the config file. Now I've exposed some of the parameters in this user config file here. So you can see you can change the display, height and width, uh, some of the training parameters, um, learning rate, epochs, things like that. Okay, now let's look at the training data. That's in this data folder, training data. So this is just some data I dummied up here. Um, now the one thing I want to point out is that currently the neural network can only predict one output. Um, so you can predict like true false values, things like that. Um, it uses a sigmoid activation function. Okay, now the number of inputs here, here I just have two inputs, x1, x2. You could have as many as you want. Now let's open the application. Okay, all right, so now if we had five inputs, let's say x1 through five, we change this to five, and away you go. But we only have x1 and x2, so we'll drop that down to two. Now, the number of layers, you can have, again, whatever you want, so we'll do five, and then here you can change the hidden neurons. Now, this is the number of neurons in each hidden layer. So let's go ahead and build our network. All right, so here's the visual representation of our network. You can see we have five neurons per hidden layer. And over on the right, last thing we're going to do is we're going to set the speed. So the speed ranges from 0 to 100, 100 being the fastest, 0 being the slowest. So you can drop that down, and we'll drop it down to, I don't know, 50. Put it right in the middle there, OK? All right, so now let's click Start Training, and the network will start training. And you can see over on the right, it will track with the current epoch. It will track the number of training examples and what example it's currently processing, and it will also track the mean squared error. So you should see that drop over time. And you will also notice that you can see the current equation being run on the bottom, and that will correspond to the either the tensor or the neuron that is highlighted at the top. So you can follow this along here as it goes through forward propagation and also back propagation. Now, if you notice in the first layer, I tried to space out the weights so you can see all the weight values. However, in the middle layers with the, that connect the hidden units, it was just impossible to do. So the weights you'll see are actually the last weight that was processed where those tensors intersect. Now, like I said, I'll probably have a link to the code or the executable in the video description. Uh, and I hope you'll consider subscribing. And thank you for watching. All right, so that'll do it. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. And also check out jamestechtips.com for more BI-related content. And thanks for watching.